All right, what's up? So we took the truck to the track a couple of weeks ago. Um, we were only able to get one pass because it was a bad wreck that shut the track down, but that pass was a PB. Uh, the only changes that were made to the truck was I installed a 389 rear gear. So before the truck had a 456 rear gear and we were struggling with the starting line ratio. So I'm gonna show y'all the pass now and then I'll bring y'all back and show y'all the time slip since it's the end of the year. time slip the truck went 123 60 foot 527 at 132 mile per hour like i said that was a pb unfortunately we only got the one pass but we'll just have to wait till 2026 to keep trying to go uh, into the fours probably make a couple of changes over the winter um, i'd like to try a set of radials um, probably won't change much about the combo um, keep the stock bottom in, keep the sloppy best cam. I'd like to keep pushing that combo and see if we can get it into the fours. We're also going to run some 530 index racing. So I think this truck set up perfect for that. Um, now I want to show y'all what I've been working on the last couple of weeks. I want to put a laser ride height sensor on the front of the truck. So I started looking at them and if you ever looked at them, you know, they're four to 500 bucks. Um, so also found that you can build them yourself. So what I have is a time of flight sensor. This thing probably cost me $50 to put together. So there is the time of flight sensor. It is a blue pill microcontroller and a digital to analog converter. And then I 3D print this box. That way it can be mounted up on the truck and I can zip tie it. As you can see right here, I have it set up to read zero to 40 inches so as i move it up and down it is reading um it's also set at zero to five volts so that's pretty cool just wanted to learn how to do that um used ai for most of it just asked it what i needed how to wire it and then it wrote all the code um 3d printed a box um, not sure how weatherproof that box will be but i'll just take it on and off as needed i'll probably zip tie it to the bottom of the frame there. And uh, yeah, should work great. Just uh, another sensor, um, didn't wanna spend the money for it. And I like learning new things. So yeah, if you wanna learn more about that, let me know. I'll try to make a video on it. Um, have limited knowledge about that. That's why I used AI for everything. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, if you would like, comment and subscribe. And um, I'll catch y'all next year.